Hello everyone and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host Stan Rattan and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show where I try to help you spend your wine dollars wisely. How do I do that? I review the wines, I grade them and it's up to you. I review, it's up to you. It's your palate that matters. And I'm kind of excited. Last episode I did the Goyette wines. It is Goyette. I was kind of questioning how to say that. You know, just being real. Uh, don't always get it exactly right as far as pronunciation goes, so, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. And now I've got the Location Wines by David Finney, the winemaker at Oren Swift, very cult winemaker wi uh, winery in California. They do the, um, they do a bunch of wines, they call the Prisoner, they do the, um, I just sold a bunch of it. I'm a, <laughs> sometimes the mind just shuts down, it's called, uh, it's not coming to me, but I know what it is. It'll come to me later. Anyway, he, Oren Swift is like huge. I mean, whenever I bring in their their wines, they just go quickly because everybody's looking for Oren Swift wines. They tend to be a little bit bigger in style, but you know, they, they have good balance, good structure. So he's done these location wines where he's, he's gone to different parts of the world and he's made a blend from grapes from France, Italy, and Spain and I believe it's called Locations 2. I, I couldn't find a vintage on this, which was really weird. It doesn't matter really. We won't go there. They're all $17. We'll do the first one. This is called Location Locations 2 from Italy. David Finney's a winemaker. I'll show you the label. Now, I've had these only once before, so I'm very excited to try the new... Sorry, get, get over there. the new vintage of these wines. Don't have my son here helping me, which I'm kind of sad about. I really like it when Mike comes and helps me film these. It gives me somebody to talk to. All I have now is my good friend TC the cat, my tabby cat. We call him TC, top cat, tabby cat, tough cat, whatever you want to shorten TC for. And my dog Bella. The Chihuahua that has shown up in the episode many times. So let's see what we get on the nose. Now this is a blend. I got a cheat sheet over here because I had to look this up. It doesn't say it on the bottle. This is a blend of Negramaro, Barbera, and Native Puglia varietals. That's all it says on the website. Get a lot of licorice on the nose with this one. A lot of licorice. A little bit of uh, rubber boot action going on. Man, I get right in the mouth there. A little bit of rubber boot, licorice, cherries. Yeah, almost like rubber beach ball sort of thing. A little bit of chocolate notes coming through. And I'm getting some red flowers, like a little bit of lavender perhaps, uh, maybe some um, rose petal coming through. Let's see what we get on the palette. Good structure, good acidity, like that right off the bat. You'll always notice when I'm tasting wine, I'll comment on the acidity. Acidity is, acidity is really the backbone of the wine. You don't want it to be too much, mouth puckering, but at the same time you want enough to kind of drive fruit, fruit flavors on the palate. I, that chocolate is coming through right on the back side. I get like a, more of a red cherry component coming through on this wine. A little bit of that uh, rubber beach ball, very little. It's not off-putting at all. Very nice um, flavors. The fruit isn't overripe. It's good balance. That chocolate, it's almost like a cocoa powder thing coming through on the backside that is very intriguing. Makes it a very nice wine. I know a lot of people will like this wine. 17 bucks. You might find it anywhere from 16 to 18 dollars. That's just an average price of 17 dollars. Very nice, um, that red fruit, kind of dark fruit thing combination in there. Nice balance. 
not over the top on the alcohol, um, good food wine, but at the same time this would be a great solo wine. I always say solo wine, in other words you can just sit down, watch your favorite program on TV and enjoy it. But I'd love to have this with hot dogs, pizza, hamburgers, very nice wine. I'm, I'm really liking this. And it's interesting because for those wine geeks, I know there's a lot of you out there that watch this. For you wine geeks, this, that rubber boot sort of petroleum action underneath is really kind of exciting. Gives it some complexity. I'm going to go B plus on that wine. I like it. Let's move on to the next one. Now this one's Location Wine 2 from France. Now it has a one that, yeah, France. Locations 2. Now I'm... I'm thinking that means this is a second round of these wines. Couldn't find that. Maybe I didn't dig down deep enough. Either way, it's locations to from France. The other one's from Italy, this one's from France. And this one is a blend of Grenache, Syrah, and some Bordeaux varietals. And he doesn't tell you what, so it could be Cab Merlot, Cab Franc, Malbec, could be any of those things. Let's see what we get on the nose. This has a lot of tobacco. I get perfumed tobacco, like pipe tobacco coming through right off the bat with a lot of currants. There's a little bit of plum action going on. A little bit of bark. It gets some nice bark notes coming through. Let's see what we get on the palate. This one is very polished, but very delicious. You get that, I'd call it a, a, a 9 or 10 in the delicious category. Good currants and plums. I get like black plums, dark currants coming through. Again, the acid level is just right. Gives a good structure to the wine. There's a little bit of bark action right at the back end of the finish. But again, I think a lot of these are like 14, yeah, this is 14.5 alcohol, but you do not taste the alcohol in the wine. I mean, it's obviously giving it the riper fruit notes, but it's no way whatsoever a fruit bomb. They're very nice wines. They're very well structured. Now get some grip action on the back side, which tells me that it needs food. You should have this with a nice grip piece of grilled steak, portobello mushrooms. Um, this would go with a lot of different things. It would even go with roasted chicken. You just need something in your mouth to calm down that uh, grip that's going on. I'm even getting a touch of licorice and strawberries coming through. Very nice wine. I'm going to go B plus A minus on that one. I think it just has a little bit more of the delicious category to it. Uh, good balance, good structure, all of that is there. I'm going to go B plus A minus. So let's move on to the next one. Now we're on to locations to E for Espanol, Spain. This one is a blend. I'm going in my cheat sheet. Just let me know. Grenache, Tempranillo, Monastrel, Carignan, and let's get a little close-up of this. There you go. Very cool labels. Oh, TC, get away from the cam. <laughs> what a goofball. He just hit the camera tripod, licking himself. He's cleaning himself. Crazy cat. All right, let's see what we get on the nose. Man, what a difference. A lot of chocolate, a lot of black licorice. A little bit of leather coming through. I like that. Like worn leather, like an old worn leather belt or watch or wa wallet, I meant. Definitely currants, big time. Get some violets going on. This is very perfumed. I mean, the, the, the aromas are just popping through. 
Again, I think this is 14.5. They are all 14.5, I believe. 14.5. Pretty close. Big time current. So that's the main thing I'm getting here with a little bit of chocolate, licorice, and red flowers. Let's see what we get on the palette. All of them superbly made. I mean, these are great wines. This has a little char action with the currants. That leather comes through. Again, the acid is there to give it structure, to keep it kind of, you know, all together, to pop the fruits. A little riper than the other two by far. I believe Robert Parker gave this 93 points. I understand perhaps why he did that. But, um, no, I mean, very good wine. The currants are incredible. Just really nice flavors. Tannins are smooth, has a little grip on the back end just like the other ones. <laughs> this one needs food too. You have to have something in your mouth, whether it be cheese, blue cheese. Blue cheese would be great with this one, by the way. A little grayer. Something like that, something a little st on the stinkified side, but, you know, cheddar, whatever you like, would be perfect with this wine. The red flowers kind of linger on the back side. Very well made wine. All three of these are nice efforts. Now, there's some people that might not like the, the, the one from Spain. A little bit more fruit on this one. I like it because of the acid and structure behind it. Good tannins. That grip really impresses me. Yeah, I'm going to go B plus A minus, more towards the A minus side on this one. I, th I think I agree with Parker on this, uh, whoever reviewed it for Parker. I agree. It's hard to keep up these days, by the way. Uh, Parker doesn't even own the um, wine advocate anymore. That being said, they still review wines. I have a lot of respect for any of these guys that are in that field that do that for big time publications. Uh, they know what they're talking about, and I happen to agree with them on this one. Very good wine. I'm going to go on the A- minus side with that one. So there you go. Location wines. Hopefully you can locate where the location wines are and find them and try them. They're very good. They're very reasonably priced, under 20 bucks. Good lineup of wines. If you want to get a little David Finney action from Warren Swift, that's the way to do it. Um, oh, Papillon is the name of the wine I was thinking about. Um, Papillon. Uh, very good wine. So, Orrin Swift, everybody, a lot of people know about Orrin Swift. Here you go with the uh, location wines from the same winemaker. That being said, remember that wine is not a mystery. It is just fermented grape juice. Always be willing to try new things. Expand your palate horizons, but be true to your palate. Know what you like, what you don't like, and do not ever let anyone tell you what you should or shouldn't like. If we do that together, we, you and I, can take the snob out of wine.